his um, just great understanding of what Sonic's able to do, and basically just using Sonic speed to his advantage. Um, it is such a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, it really makes me think that Sonic has so much more untapped potential uh, locked inside that big old blue spiny head of his. <laughs> yeah, something I really like about Ken's playstyle is the way he's able to adapt to both the matchup and his opponent. He can play a lot of different ways, and usually all those ways revolve hev heavily around spin dash, but he can play in your face, he can camp, he can kind of play a mixture of both. Man does it all. Now, Advo's going to be sitting down to play him. Now, I'm going to tell that funny story I was talking about. So I had to play Advo earlier in tournament. Um, game one, I lost. He went Game & Watch. Game two, he was Samus. He forward tilts me. I get stuck in the spin, and he power shots. I was going to die. He pauses the game, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take that. <laughs> so we go to game three, and then I get <laughs> So then we go to game three, and I get watched. <laughs> He's like, are you going to take that? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, resident scumbag Koopa. Uh, That's okay. Uh, Michigan at one point had a, uh, well, I think we still do have a grime PR somewhere on Smash. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Put me, put me in honorable mentions, baby. So anyway, again, Advo, uh, you know, he played really solid. He definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, with characters you don't really see very often, uh, in this case, he's going Samus, and I really don't blame him. Um, I am of the species that thinks that Sonic might struggle a little bit against these projectile zoners, um, but Samus being, uh, you know, a bigger character, uh, you know, some of her uh, kill percents are very specific. <coughs> so you gotta be, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely in Sonic's favor, I believe, but Samus can definitely hold her own. Yeah, but right now, um Admo just kind of failing to find any sort of opening. Uh, Ken really just not letting him get anything started whatsoever. Yeah, showing that relentless Sonic pressure right there. Oh my gosh, that was so smart. That was brilliant. I love this character, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go, just gonna roll behind him. Samus, uh, kind of like her Zero Suit counterpart, doesn't have a great answer to rolling behind you. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. That down smash is kind of sketchy. Moderately sketchy. <laughs> gonna get the forward tilt right there. Not gonna be enough to kill. Samus is a you know a bigger bone uh, character, so uh, Sonic's gonna have his work cut out for him, especially without rage. Again, good use of charge shot right there. Uh, even if it didn't connect, uh, gonna be good shield damage right there. So uh, Ken's gonna have to be a little bit more reserved. Yeah, and forward air will do it. Yeah, that uh, that aggressive forward air after you know we see le uh, Ken start like he was. Very focused on ledge traps. He was basically letting Advo get back to the stage outside of uh, using spring occasionally. Right. And so to see that aggressive forward air all of a sudden, strong mix up. Also, fun fact forward air has the highest base knockback of any of Sonic's areas. Really? Yep, higher knockback, base knockback than back air. Might be because it's a multi hit move, but uh, it's definitely good at you know stealing that kill a couple uh, percent earlier. Yeah, that means rage has a huge effect on it. Oh yeah, it's great. I've killed, I've crowned people out so hard with that move. <laughs> Again, we see Advo kind of like he's trying to chase Sonic in the air when Sonic um, when Sonic uses his upbeat, and I I feel like a lot of the time you just want to wait for Sonic to land because there are only so many resources he's able to use uh, up in the air. Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest problems he has as a character that his landing options. Uh, are very limited. He's either going to land with an aerial or he's going to spin again. And when he spins again, he commits to a jump. So you just got to kind of be in the right spot at the right time. Again, going to get that forward air again. So much extra credit coming out for Ken. Oh, that was beautiful movement from Advo. He, uh, I don't think he had a jump, but he used the bomb to move away from Ken. But that time, Ken has a complete read on his movement, and he's going to catch that fadeaway bomb to take game one in very convincing fashion. Let it be known if they ever nerf Sonic backer, I will drop this character like a bad habit. <laughs> but, you know, you can take away back throw. You can take away the spin dash damage output. You can take away forward smash by a couple percent. But if you take away back air, <laughs> I'm writing a very angry letter. <laughs> yeah, back air, definitely one of Sonic's stronger moves. Uh, Even back during in, uh, Brawl, you know, when Sonic was a, a, a you know kind of a shell of his former self. So Advo going to make the switch to Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, he 
kind of co-means these two characters. Game & Watch, he's been playing for a lot longer. But like you said, Sam is probably a more favorable matchup. But with how that last game went, I don't really blame him for switching. So we'll see how this match goes. Now, what I like what he does is that, um, or like, he, he kind of does what most Game & Watch uh, Game & Watches do, in which they'll uh, keep you suspended in the air with the, the wind box on up air. So it's going to make Sonic's already very difficult, uh, you know, landing struggles uh, just a little bit more awkward. You're going to have to make Ken think a little bit uh, harder on how he lands, but he doesn't care about anything I'm saying right now because he's out. Yeah, right, the gate. right now, Ken hasn't even been put in that position right now. So I, I don't think he's too worried. Ken just going to spin on through right there. <coughs> there we go. Admiral going to get some uh, damage here, though. Ken, now kind of looking for looking for a kill already. Pretty much, he he plays a really good hot and cold game. Up throw. Oh, absolutely. Oh God. Like I was saying earlier, he can kind of switch between the aggressive and passive style, and he'll do it mid stock, uh, based on you know how much of a lead he has, how his opponent changes their style. That was actually kind of god like, <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, Advo has his work cut out for him, but it's something a nine hammer can't fix. So, you, know, <laughs> you, you can definitely never count that option out with Game of Watch. Oh my gosh. I'm actually surprised he was able to win that because uh, if you don't get the spike hitbox on Dare, the, ba the, the knockback on it is stupid. Back here again, gonna send Advo off stage. Yeah, Advo already on the ropes. Yeah, Not even two minutes into the game. Yeah, to push the Game of Watch definitely isn't improving uh, you know, too resourceful right now. Oh my goodness. They're gonna forward tilt out of shield, gonna get that good little percent. Alright. Advo re grabbing the ledge, but smart to recover high. There you oh. go. Good high recovery from Ken. I'm sure he'd rather eat that forwarder than a down smash at the ledge. Gonna eat the down smash anyway. Advo now showing some signs of life, but is it too little too late, or will he be able to bring it back? Like I said, man, nine hammer. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying that is most definitely a uh, an option. Yeah, where's that grab at? He's gonna get it right. Not now. <laughs> Let's see if Ken even gives him the opportunity. Oh, okay. Yep. And yeah, Ken was so it. prepared for that. The Sonic Classic, man. Good showing there, you know, from uh, you know Advo at the end, but Ken. Continuing the uh, <laughs> uh, this route just.